What I'm showing currently is a clip from my last video which shows loading icons from the SD card and placing them onto the LCD display. And as you can see it's quite a slow process so I've tried to improve this in this video. On the SD card I always store my files, my image files for icons as bitmap files. And the reason I do that is because it can be stored in a format which can be sent straight to the LCD display as raw binary data. Um, so I'm not getting the advantages of JPEG compression. So what I'm doing is I'm compressing them individually separately. So I've still got the bitmap files, uh, but I'm using a, a library called Zlib to compress the data on the onto the SD card. Uh, so now when I load the icons, uh, so see there, it loads so much quicker and it's so much more usable. Um, so if I go back into uh, one of the screens and then load the icons again. They load a lot quicker and, and, and it's a much more usable application now. So in my project under the main directory where I've got source code, my own source code, which is here, um, I have the Zlib library, which I've uncompressed and just uncompressed into that directory. And, uh, and then you just add these uh, C, um, C programs from, from that uh, library. And also in the include directory, you need the Zlib library as well. And then when you compile your code, that automatically compiles the Zlib library as well. So this is the function I use to read the files off of the SD card. Uh, so just using the standard C functions to open a, a file for reading binary. Uh, and then I seek to the end of the file to find out what the file size is. And I allocate the amount of memory I need to read the file into memory. Uh, and then I read the file into memory, close the file. And this is all you have to do from this uh, Zlib library. Just use the uncompress uh, function. Uh, and you set, you give it the buffer you want to uncompress the data into. And then you give it the buffer where you've got the data read from the file. And it will just uncompress the data for you. And it's as simple as that. It's no really simple to use a Zlib library. And compressing data is, is very similar as well. It's just the compress... Um, function and rather than and the arguments are basically the same only the the destination will be the buffer that you want to, to compress into uh, and then uh, free up the uh, file buffer because I, I just need to keep the uncompressed data not the actual file which was actually read which is a compressed data uh, and I've been getting um, although they're very simple basic icons not very complicated but one uh, they compressed to one tenth the size originally, which is why I get the in, such an improvement in loading the icons off of SD card. 